I assume you're uh, staying here with Dante. Yeah. Um, look, I know that you're involved in all this, and you've kept Dante on the case, and you've been pulling strings all along. And, I mean, in a way, you were right, Sonny. He needed to be stopped. Yeah, well, it's my job to protect my family. Well, Carly loves you, and she deserves to know the truth. So, I'm sorry if you're not going to tell her I am. I'm just sick of keeping secrets. It's okay. I'm planning to tell. The judge came through. You got bail. Yep. How much? Wow. I guess the judge isn't thinking that we can come up with that kind of money, huh? If you flee this jurisdiction to avoid prosecution, you will lose everything you own. However, you would be a free man. You let me grow up. You got I had no father. And my mother just slept around so much that it could have been anybody. And I would do it all again. You know who I thought it was? Rob the mail. We're on Seventh Avenue. I used to see him with his kids at school, at the park, at school assemblies. You never said anything to him, and that was enough to prove to me that he was my father. Why didn't you ever say anything? Because he looked happy. That up. You know what? You were happy too. You were happy. You were always surrounded by people that loved you. Good people. I made sure that your uncles and your cousins and your grandfathers, those were your role models. They were better role models for you than Sonny. Dad, are you justified? You're damn straight it is. Maybe I kept the secret a little too long once you got to poor Charles, but your childhood, I would not change a damn thing. I remind you of him every single day. And you still do. You guys got the same focus. The same way you, you would drive the sisters at Sacred Heart crazy. You're smart like him. And you're brave like him. But I wanted a better life for you than what Sonny has. I needed to know the truth. When you were born, Sonny was still a teenager. Honey, he was already moving up to that organization. If he, if he would have known, uh, I mean, he would have tried to be a good father. But he was still a gangster. And sooner or later, you would have been dragged into that world, and there was no way in hell that I was going to let that happen. It was better for everybody if Sonny didn't know. <clears throat> So why didn't you tell me later? I should have. I should have. I was afraid to hurt you. I was afraid of what it would do to you. And I was afraid to have um, this conversation that we're having right now. And I'm... I'm sorry. I was wrong. That makes it all better. A, a lifetime of lies of knowing who I am. Knowing that sometimes your father does not change who you are, baby. Maybe I disagree. Okay, you know what? We shouldn't be talking about this right now. Okay, you need to rest. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Did she go get some coffee? She doesn't need to hear what I'm about to tell you. Neither does Dante. Olivia, as bad as things are right now, they're about to get a hell of a lot worse. Hey. Hey. 
I have to tell you something, and I know you're going to hate it. Okay. I talked Sonny into jumping bail. I didn't realize bail had been set. Jason set the whole thing up. He's probably already gone. Oh. And I don't know what I'm going to tell Michael and Morgan. So do you care to have an opinion on this? Yeah, I am. Um, I have to tell you something too, which you, you might hate. Uh, I knew that Dante was an undercover cop. I've known that for a while. I also knew that he was uh, Olivia's son and uh, and Sonny's. Uh, a few months ago, when it looked like Dante was being taken off the case, I pulled a few strings to have him put back on the case. So, in a way, I, I helped him get Sonny arrested. The De Leon family's gonna set you up in Argentina. Bernie worked out alone on the offshore holdings, so we're pretty much gonna lose everything that we have that's legitimate. When things cool down, Sonny, we're gonna have to reevaluate. This is no good. Agent Rayner had to fly back to Washington. I'll be taking your statement regarding the attempted murder of Dante Falconeri. Hey. I checked with the nurses. They said it was okay if you had a sip or two. Sonny Corinthos, I knew all about him. The, the gangster from the, the neighborhood who had Lieutenant Play killed. So when he shot me, you know, it wasn't a real surprise, but my mom, the one person I loved and trusted more than anyone, I have no idea who she is. Parents lie for different reasons, but it doesn't mean that they don't love you. Hey. hey. How you doing? Uh, a little confused at the moment, actually. I just found out my father was public enemy number one. I guess I can do that to a guy. Yeah. Mac wants me to take your statement. You up for that? Yeah, let's, let's get it over with. You want to give us a few minutes? Actually, actually I'd like Lulu to stay if that's what she wants. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. All right. Detective Spencer interviewing Detective Dante Falconeri, NYPD. Sonny, you, you gotta get on that plane. Before they charge you with Dante shooting, it's your only chance. It doesn't feel right, Jason. I don't wanna walk away from it. What happened when Dante got shot? I didn't see everything. Tell us what you saw. If you leave, they're gonna shelve the murder investigation on Claudia and Michael will be safe. I'm not gonna run away. I'm not leaving my kids. Walk me through this. How did you end up shot in the chest on Sonny's living room floor? 